Join us on the Swim Monkey. Swim. Swim Monkey. Swim Monkey. Swim Monkey TV. On the Monkey. So, Joe, are you the one that created that monkey cry, the laugh at the end? No. No. What? I. I have I no idea what you're talking about. I want to hear your best Tarzan. I, I, I have a horse fo- voice right now. I, I don't even know how they go. How does it go? I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I like our swim <laughs> opener. So welcome, everybody, on Best Hour. I'm here with, with, with my husband, Joe, and we're here to talk about cool tools for swim coaches and business owners. Joe, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. We had our last practice of the week. And i um, just excited to be done. I lost my voice this week. I have no idea how. I was probably yelling. You don't, have, both- you don't, have, you don't have the COVID, do you? <laughs> I don't have COVID. <laughs> COVID. I don't have it. But I was yelling at two ends of a 50-meter pool, so I was, that's probably what it is. But anyway, I do not have the COVID or the <laughs> vid or the 19. So... So I have a few that can actually laugh about it, even though it's a horrible position where I've already had it. And uh, I'm wearing my mask everywhere. I mean, you know, I went 18 days in March and into April with it, and I do not want it again. So I actually take it very, very seriously, as you know, Joe. So uh, when I'm laughing about it, it's because we can't do anything else except cry. Can we get it more than once? Yeah, 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 yeah. They. they So you can just keep getting it over and over again. Yeah, so the so the, of course, you know, it's a brand new virus. It's only been out, I mean, it's been out for less than a year at, in this universe, as far as we know. And the doctors, you know, we keep getting these conflicting reports because doctors are discovering different things. And uh, some doctors are talking about one study that's not maybe a big one, and then they do a larger one and contradict it. And so it's a whole, it's a whole dumpster fire right now. But my doctor tells me that, yes, you can get it again. So I had it, like I said, 18 days back, March and April. Do not want it again. Um, I think the latest study I showed with the antibodies is that your antibodies are at the peak about three weeks after you start showing symptoms, and then they start dropping from there. So probably at this point, I would have no antibodies in my blood. So yeah, I'm wearing my mask everywhere. Nice. All right, hit, hit us up. What do we got today, cool tools wise? Now we've got some really cool things this week. Kind of a mismatch of lots of different things. But so the first thing I'm going to show us, People Magazine. We have Joe. Can you make me big there, please? Thanks. So we have uh, Ryan Lochte in the pool with his kid, and uh, he's in there right now, Joe, because he's got a new show out. Um, so. Some of us remember, we're old enough to remember that reality TV show that he did that I wasn't a fan of. And he's been on some celebrity reality TV shows that you know they haven't always shown him in the best light. But this one is called Into the Deep. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, Joe. So it's, it's playing on the Peacock, and that's NBC's new streaming service. And from what it looks like, it looks like it's a look at Ryan Lochte from a pretty serious point of view, right? So looking back at the Rio Olympics, where of course we know that, uh, you know, there was some controversy with Ryan being pulled over at a gas station and all of that. And so he kind of looks back from what I can tell from the trailer and analyzes where he was in his life at that point, kind of looking at some of the missteps he may or may not have made and where he is right now in his life. So I'm really excited about it. It's gotten great reviews. So Joe, what do you think? Are you excited about watching this? Okay, you're on mute. <clears throat> Thank you for that. I've, uh, I'm not on my game this week or today, but uh, you know, we've watched Ryan grow up uh, you know, probably all the way back since he's 12 or 13. And it's really cool to watch him um, over the years just grow and develop into a man and just watch the Olympics and the, and the life story. Because really, you know, not a lot of us have life stories that are in the news every day. So uh, I can sympathize with any athlete that um, is under the microsto- microscope 24-7 like he is. So, you know, hats off to him for, for doing all this and, and um it's a tough, it's tough, I'm sure. 
I, I, I was never that lucky to be that fast, so I have no idea, but I'm sure it's tough uh, having everybody watch you all the time, for sure. Yeah, yeah, so again, it's called Into the Deep, and uh, I don't know what happened to my, I'm gonna add it back, there we go. Um, so Into the Deep, streaming on the Peacock, it's a new service, Joe, that we don't have yet, and from my understanding, uh, some of the shows are free on there and some are not. But anyway, we're definitely subscribing probably this weekend and giving it a watch because, you know, for me, uh, coming from a parent of the sport with uh, with my son competing all the way up, growing up here in Florida, having the opportunity to see uh, not only Ryan Lochte, but his father, Steve, you know, on deck, watching them interact on meets. And the one thing that I always told people when they would ask me about what I thought about Ryan Lochte during you know all the different mess that was going on was you know i've seen ryan lochte be the most kind swimmer and role model out there so i remember you know we'd be at i drive and you know he was a famous swimmer by then and he would have a line wrapped around the pool to get his autograph and he'd jump out in his speedo and he'd be freezing and he would stand there and either sign autographs or take selfies every single person around the pool before he went to the locker room. And sorry, that's not easy to do. So I've never been anything except impressed with at least Ryan's heart. And I know he means to do the right thing. So I look forward to seeing this video. So I'm hoping it shows him Joe in the light that you and I know him. So anyway, check it out. Let us know what you think. All right, so going on to our next cool thing, Joe, this one, I'm putting on here, it's not exactly new, but I don't see it being used by our swim coaches and our small business owners out there, our swim instructors, our diving teams, our super teams. Now, part of it is we're out of the water right now, a lot of us, but some of us are back in and we need to start growing our team. So last week, Joe, I talked all about Facebook and how Facebook was the number one way to be growing your team to attracting new customers. And I still believe that new team members are going to come and find you through Facebook, it's your number one tool. But Instagram, number two. Can you see my hand there? There we go, number two. And the reason why is because all the moms are on Instagram, guys. And let's face it, moms are the ones that sign their kids up for swimming. Swim lessons, it's moms that typically do it. So moms are your demographic and they are on Instagram. So you wanna be on there. And so Instagram has given us some really cool tools. Not only can we run ads on there and you do that through Facebook Creator, which I showed last week. If you missed last week's, uh, just uh, if you click on videos at Florida Swim Network and scroll down, you'll be able to find the video from last week. And I walk you through how to do it. Um, so this one, Instagram, watch this, Joe. You're able to actually put a little sign up on there. So most people say, well, I can't put a link. Like if you put a link in your caption on Instagram, nobody can click it. They're right. You have to be like, go to my bio and click the link there. But watch this. This is another tool where you can do. If you sign up for a business account, you can actually then sell on Instagram. And you do it by being able to view the products and right there they give you a clickable link. So how would this look like an action for you as a swim coach? Well, I've done a little mock-up here. So let's say you have a picture of some of your kids in swim lessons, and let's say you're running a three-month special, a summer introductory special, where they get you know all three months for an introductory price. Well, if they click right here, boom, it will take them right to the website. They can click with their finger right on Instagram, and it's gonna open up and allow them to sign up right away let's think about this you can do this with team t-shirts if you're selling t-shirts any type of gear that you have going on any type of equipment that you want to sell and you can also be doing it for getting people to sign up so it's a real easy way calling joe hour is, is that you no. No. <laughs> that's okay anyway live tv guys um so you're able to actually have it right there and so all those moms scrolling through they see the cute picture they click they sign up they're taken right to your website to register so what we're doing is we're removing obstacles of hey go look in our bio for the link to take you then to the website you can take them right to what we call landing page don't take them to the main page of your website take them directly to the page where they sign up remove any obstacles of them having to click through click through click through go directly there and sign up. So what do you think, Joe? We haven't done this yet. 
I think we should try it for sure. It looks like a, a just another uh, way to to find kids and and uh, you know lessons and things like that. So yeah, I think it's I think we should try it this weekend. Yeah. We should try yeah. it this weekend. <laughs> well, you've got to give me some specials to run on there. Are you running this right now? Yeah. What are you doing to get your kids back in the pool? What's that? What are you doing right now to get new kids in the pool? Well, we have signage on the side of the road, um, some A-frame signs. We also put ads on uh, our Facebook page, uh, our Blue Dolphins Winter Park Facebook page. And then I also put it on my own personal page that we have lesson programs and, and group programs. And we haven't even have an intro to Blue Dolphins program that um, – uh, is good for one day a week. So we have that as well in case, you know, kids doing other sports or music or does other things. So we have a lot of different ways we're doing it right now. Yeah. So that's a really easy way. And again, I'm going to show that one more time just so people can see what it looks like. And again, you want to have a really great picture, right? And again, you can use this to sell gear, to use t-shirts, uh, to sell any of your team stuff, or even to sell lessons or a sign of special right there. So this is Instagram for business. And I will be putting all the links in the comments to, to guide you through. I'll even try and find a how to for you guys. That way you can, you can go through step by step. I'll put some video tutorials in there. So I like this one coaches. If you try it out, swim schools, if you try it out, let me know how it goes. All right, Joe, that was number two for us. I said, I got five. Here's our next one. This one brand new, brand new. It just, kind of hit the internets, as they say. No, I've, seen that, I've seen that card before. This week. Yeah, so QR codes are not new. So QR codes, that's a that funny kind of grainy. It looks like the old uh, Poltergeist television right there. So that is actually the equivalent of a, of, a scan, of a barcode. If you're not familiar with QR codes, they are just a, a barcode for the internet. So you scan it and it takes you someplace. So in this case, we want to have it take us to our website. So um, they were launched, QR codes were kind of launched. It's like the end thing, they're going to revolutionize everything a few years ago. And they totally flopped. Like nobody used QR codes. Nobody knew how to use them. They you would see a QR code on the billboard, like you could scan that with your phone or something. They were miserable, but they are now making a comeback with some new and unique ways. Now, part of the barrier a few years ago was nobody had any way to scan it on their phone. They had to download a special app to be able to scan a QR code. Well, nowadays, most phones are built in. You just scan it with your camera, and it opens up to whatever web page you designate. So how are you using this? This one I like because if you have your smartphone screen, like mine, well, I've got notifications on mine, but right here I've got a picture of actually Joe and me from when we were 15 years old. I'm actually going to clear it. I was not 15. Yes, well, I was 15. Can you see it? <laughs> no, I don't. That's showing too much skin. You got to cover that up. <laughs> we were at the beach. But if you're a swim coach or one of our swim coaches, Joe, or a swim school owner, imagine if somebody asked you about your business or you wanted to quickly give your business or relevant information to somebody, all you have to do is pick up your phone and let them scan that real quick. You don't have to open up any apps or anything like that. And so this actually gives you the tools to set that up. So all you would do if somebody asks about your business or they want your contact information or want to know more information about your team, you as a person just open up your phone, just actually hold it up. The lock screen has that QR code. They take it and they go and they have all the information. So it's just one more way to be able to get word about you guys out there. So Joe, what do you think? Would you try the QR code? You're doing your best like monkey ears. Um, no, I, 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 I mean, I don't know, maybe, but I, I, it seems like there'd be other things, but I mean, I would probably use it for some, for the cool factor, maybe for a weekend and see if I get anything from it. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Well, you know, um, business cards are a dying, dying thing. Nobody carries business cards anymore. No doubt. No doubt about it. And so to share your contact information, most people have to open up their phone, go to their contacts, 
click share information. No, actually, <laughs> actually, how many times do you see, uh, you know, give me your phone number, give me your phone number. And you guys are like trying to type it in real fast. And it takes you like a minute where you could scan and be done. So, I mean, that's, yeah. that's probably a fast way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how, this is what that service is for. All right. So that's number three, yeah. Jeff. Moving on, moving on. You're moving along. You're moving right. along. So this next one is actually the Marco Polo app. And I see this for my coaches to be able to stay in touch. So th their website's a little funky here. It's an app that you download. I'm going to play a little bit of this. You come in and you talk when you're here. And then I can come in and talk when I'm available. You'll see a list of your friends. And then you'll just tap on one to open the chat. Then you'll just hit start to start talking. Hi Tira, I'm showing my friends how to use Marco Polo. So you'll hit start and then you'll talk and then you'll hit stop, start, talk, stop, wait and listen. You can always delete your polo, touch and hold on it for a second or two and it'll give you the option to delete the polo. It's a little bit like a walkie talkie, a little bit like video chat. but I'm All right, so I'm gonna stop it there. So the Marco Polo chat and I'm gonna credit Heather Bryant, Uber crew mom, so she does, you know, her kid does crew. And we were talking about different ways that everybody was keeping in touch. And she said, well, we use the Marco Polo app. And I said, what, what is that? You know, I'd like to think I've heard of everything, but I hadn't. And so the Marco Polo app, you download it, it's a free app. And then it literally is, you record a 15 second video and it goes to everybody there. And then it stays there and then they can respond as they need. So it's a little bit like a walkie talkie a little bit like a video chat, but instead of flooding somebody's text messages with different videos and all that, it stays right on the app. And by the way, if you didn't know this, any video or photo that you send through a text message then is taking up storage space on everybody's phone. So it's slowing down your phone some. So you really need to be clearing the media, those images, those videos out of your text messages. So this doesn't take up any space on your phone. It's all stored on the app in that magical cloud. So I do like this, Joe. So um, can you imagine for you guys, you know, your senior group? Uh, I, nope, can't do it on the senior group. Uh, can't do it on any kids actually uh, per USA Swimming, but I can, I can probably do it f for the coaches. You know, if I see something with a particular athlete, I can say, hey, um, you know, so and so George is is doing this with his shoulders and blah 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 blah. You may want to mention to him, and then that coach will see it because you know if we're in the pool and there's three coaches walking the deck with 50 kids, you can do a lot of that stuff really quickly, and it'd be a good point. So now to clarify, part, to clarify, it goes to everybody in that group, not just the single child. Oh, it doesn't go to the to the. Okay, so it goes to 50 kids. Yeah, yeah it goes to the okay. group. Okay. Well, then yeah, you could do it then. I I, I was. Right when I saw it, I was like, oh, this will be really cool. But then I'm like, oh, we're not allowed to talk to the kids one-on-one uh, -on, -one on any social media, right? So, um, but now since it's a open forum, then of course we can. You we know, can one of the things as a parent that I like as an open forum, those kids are going to think twice before sending something that everybody sees, or you would hope they would, including the coaches on your staff. And you can have parents in there even. So, it, or you could just have a parent group. So it is, it's a little bit different and what I was thinking about it is we are all so remote right now in this still crazy time. There are still pools that aren't open. They're not able to meet with their teams. This is a little more face to face time. So think of it as a zoom call, a group zoom call where uh, you're just sending one video at a time. People are talking when they're convenient, when they're available. Is there, is there a limit to how many people can be on there? I don't know, Joe. I haven't looked at it that far. Because I mean, I have, let's say I have 30 people in my group. I know that a yep. regular chat, you can only have like 25. So or yeah, 30 yeah. or whatever the number is. Yeah. So I'll, I'll investigate that a little further and I'll, I'll put the link down there so you guys can look at it. It's just one more tool that you can have. It may work for you. It may not. Um, but I like the fact that it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one communication. It was a video chat for the entire group that you have or your entire parent group. Um, and, you know, when you set it up like anything else, you want to remind them of rules. Hey, guys, make sure that, you know, you remember this is going to everybody here. 
you know, don't say anything you don't want your, your mother to see, things like that. So, um, you know, there's always a danger in opening stuff up to your swimmers or your parents. But at the same time, it can be a way to really unite your swimmers and parents. So I'll be showing, I'll be putting the link down there, but it's the Marco Polo app. I thought it was cool. And, you know, uh, for some kids or, or people like me that are old whose thumbs don't text well, I mean, I, I literally, I don't even use my thumb, Joe. As you know, I use one finger to text everything. You know what? You know what? It's, it's funny you say that because there was a lady that came up to, to the pool the other day and she was signing up her son to swim. And I had never seen someone type so fast with one finger. She was like, dig, dig, dig. I'm like, oh my gosh, did you just text all that with one finger? She's like, yes. She goes, I'm a, I'm a hunter and a pecker. You know, and I'm like, I'm a, I'm a hunter and a pecker, but I, it was I, so I, fast. It was so fast. I'm like, I can't even type that fast with two. So it was funny. My thumbs are too fat, so I do a single single finger, and I, it just takes me forever. And so this is one way to reduce that barrier, you know, and anytime we can make anything easier for our parents or swimmers, that's always a good thing. So I'll put the link in there. Marco Polo app is my next one that I had, so going on. All right. This one, Joe, is for our coaches, for our parents, for our coaches, anybody out there, probably not our triathletes because they're going to be too snobby about their bike. Check this out. This is a 3D printed carbon fiber bike. What? Done specifically to your specifications. So you do your measurements, you send it to the company, they print that bike specifically for you. And guess how much it weighs, Joe? Eight pounds. Less than two water bottles. Turn a hey, push play on that. Let's see what it does. It's so cool. The ultimate bike experience is here. Introducing the Super Strata, the world's first unibody carbon fiber composite bike, custom made for you. Each one of our Super Strata bikes is 3D printed with continuous carbon fiber to custom fit your size, ride style, and riding experience. Our frame is made for your frame, which means it'll fit you and you too. Our bikes are created with precision lasers and robots with quality ensured by our PhD educated pros. That means a single unibody frame with no joints, no bolts and no glue. Just one solid piece of industrial grade carbon fiber. Made of the most advanced composite materials of any bike on the market, the frame is so light it weighs less than two water bottles. Seriously, we tested that. Our unique unibody design makes the Super Strata more impact resistant than any other carbon fiber bike on the market. Super light, super strong, this bike is nothing short of revolutionary. Looking for upgrades? We got I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that, Bess. <laughs> I thought you would like that. I thought you would like that. So for our, uh, for our, you know, let's face it. Most of our swim coaches are former athletes. If they're not still an athlete, an active athlete, and you guys like being out there doing stuff. So Joe, uh, does it sound like a good quality bike? It, it does. And you got to test it. You know, it, it had a, a mountain bike there. So, I um, mean, I've done, been on a lot of bikes. So, you know, you'd have to test it mountain bike wise to see how strong it will be. Cause sometimes, I mean, all bikes, they crack depending on what's, what kind of stress it's under, but you know, it'd be awesome to, to try that bike. I'm sure they tested it over and over again. So I, I can't wait to get it. It looked like it was kind of expensive 2,400, but probably, probably worth the try. You know I mean? If it's, if it's that light, um, it's going to be interesting to, to get on that thing and see what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. I like the less than two water bottles. So, so, so that being said, Bess, you can't eat for a month because I have to pay for the bike. <laughs> but Or you can't drive anywhere. But other than that, I it, it's going to be nice. So maybe I'll get rid of the Corona. What was the term you hadn't heard of this morning? Corona flab? Cor corona flab. <laughs> we may all have a little Corona flab that we need to get rid of. So I may be okay. So, yeah. yeah. I've got a lot of Corona flab. I got, I got vegetarian flab. <laughs> so when I went vegetarian and I know we're sidestepping, but when I went vegetarian, I was 195 pounds. I am 218 now, probably 215. I don't know. I got to go get on the scale, but I've gained so much weight just being a vegetarian, which is weird. So, well, you're that much healthier. 
your insides are that much healthier. I'm a fat healthy. <laughs> a healthy fat. There you go. There you go. All right. So I thought that one was cool. I'll put a link to it. And it's an Indiegogo, which means that people put this concept out there. If you're not familiar with Indiegogo, it's like a Kickstarter campaign where people put the idea and the concept out there and they get backers. Well, look at this, Joe. They only want like 100000 to get going. They've had over $2 million thrown at it to back it. So it's definitely getting made. So very exciting. Oh, I thought that was the price, $2,000. I can't see very clearly on this. So it's, what is that? Is that, that's $2 million? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Does that so help? So it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be a $10,000 bike. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't scrolled down to see if they say what the price of the bike is. $2,000 bike right there. Well, actually, that's if you support them right now. Uh, it looks like they're, they're, going to normally be charging four thousand for it so and if that's not too bad i mean that's not too bad it's not it's not awful it's not awful but anyway go ahead all right moving on to my last cool tool and i'm actually wearing a pair that are similar right now so joe i spend all day in front of a screen you spend a lot of the day when you're not at the pool in front of a screen as well. And everybody's been hearing about the blue light and how it tires your eyes, it makes them weary. Well, these glasses right here, besides being like readers, so I can have everything magnified so I can read it, it actually has the blue light lens in it. So I wear it and it really doesn't change the color too much. It does have a little tiny, you know, little tiny tint that you can maybe see but what it does is it allows you to not get that eye strain so amber glasses are a little bit different because let me go over here and show you what they have not only a blue light range but an ultra range meaning all the harmful rays uh, they have a sun range so you can help so you can see that we go down here it has all these different ones that you can get um, but if coaches if you're spending any time in front of a, a, a actual screen business owners make sure you have a blue light that you put on because it really does make a difference not only does it help you sleep better because if you sit in front of the computer all day and then try and go to bed your your neurons are firing and stuff so you want to make sure that you are doing a blue light one so i like this one joe because of the technology in it so you frequently steal my glasses joe hour no i don't yes you do no, yes I don't. you frequently move it all right. So Jen, Jen is there and she says she has 25 kids ready to go from parent emails since March, but you're not ready to get back or you're not allowed back in the pool. Oh, Jen, I can feel you. Let us know where you're, where you're chiming in from if you're not yet back in the pool. And, you know, we're hearing that a lot. I think on Florida Swim Network, we keep asking, you know, are you back in the pool yet? Some are. Uh, poor Pinecrest, what was it, Mara, you said, Joe? Jen, Jen, where are you from? Where, where, what state are you from? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marius, Marius said uh, they were they were in. They got back in for a week or two. Then they then they got you know someone someone's father got uh, COVID, so they they shut it all down again. So a shame for them because uh, they have a lot of uh, Olympic trial athletes that need to train and they need to find somewhere to train because uh, the Olympic trials, even though this craziness is going on, it is coming around again next summer. Um, hopefully so um they need to be ready and it takes a lot of time as you guys know of course so they need to be in the water some in some form or fashion they need to get in even if it's for an hour so and jim may be talking about new kids that have you know because oh, um, so on my list to talk about is email marketing so i'll probably do that in the next week or two because it's so important if you're not collecting emails so she's uh there we go joe lakeland florida swim at florida southern so uh Jen, I sure hope you guys are back in same fingers crossed for you guys. So um, you may be talking about, you know, new team members that are ready to go because, you know, Joe, the, the one thing that we have seen is a lot of the sports, the organized sports are still closed. And so parents are looking for an outdoor activity. And so if you're in an outdoor pool, swimming fits that. So you might be getting some new team members new to the sport just for that reason alone. So I am gonna be talking about email 
marketing. So how to get new people on your email list. There's some really cool tools that we can do that. I'll do that next week. How to get new people to sign up, new families on your email list, and then how to structure an email campaign. Um, so Joe, I know we have Team Unify. Most of our teams do but it's not the most visually pleasing, nor is it great to have potential people on there. So we're going to talk about kind of marketing to potential members. So I've got some, some free or really inexpensive tools for you to be able to do that. So I'll, I'll do that next time. All right, awesome. so let's do the review. Let's do the review here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. So I first talked about uh, Ryan Lochte's new documentary, in the Deep, it's streaming now on The Peacock. I don't know if it's one of the free things that we can watch on there or if it is um, one of the paid. They have both on there, but really looking forward to it. I then talked about using Instagram to sell, and we actually gave an example of how you might use it. Um, if you want to have a swim package on there and parents, because remember, lots and lots of mommies are on Instagram. You click through, take them right to the landing page where you were selling that particular package. Sell team t-shirts, sell merchandise, pool equipment. You can do a lot on there and sell it right on Instagram. Joe, we talked about using a QR code, how QR codes are making a comeback. Maybe. No. <laughs> No, they really are. They really are. They're being used in lots of different ways. So we'll see if this one works. That's a good way for you right on your phone to be able to pull up and say, hey, here's the information in lieu of a business card to spread information about your team. Uh, we also talked about Marco Polo, and it was an app that's a video app that messages a group, not individuals, but it's a combination of walkie talkies and video chats, but going to a group. Um, and then we have uh, the bike. We really like the bike, the Super Strata. It's a 3D printed carbon fiber bike customized just for you. But as we said, it's a little on the pricey side, so you're gonna have to really like cycling to get it, but it was pretty cool though. And then my last one was the amber eyeglasses. And of course, I really stress the blue light, especially if you spend any time in front of a screen, you wanna make sure you have those blue lights on to, to block out that blue light so you then can sleep better at night. So yeah, that's all I got. All right. So thanks. Good to know, Jen. And uh, gosh, I sure hope you guys are back in it soon. All right, Joe, that's it. That's all I got. Um, guess what we're doing this weekend? Uh, 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 planting trees in the backyard. Three things. <laughs> uh, yeah. cleaning, cleaning out the garage, sweeping Four the things. garage. Four things. So, after you've swept the garage and after you've planted the trees, and what you got? A couple coconut palms and a macadamia nut back there to plant? Yes. Okay. All right. So, after we've done those things, uh, we are watching the Ryan Lochte documentary. Oh. That way we can talk about it. And, uh, you know, guys, if you watch it, let us know how you, how you like it. And then the second thing is we're going to explore doing that Instagram. So, you're going to create a package introductory for swimmers. Maybe your intro to Blue Dolphins, we can offer a little special. And then we'll see how we'll test that out and see awesome. if we get any responses. All, All right, right, guys, if you try any of the tools that we have talked about, uh, let us know how they work for you. And if you come across any cool tools, let me know. I'd love to share them. That's it for me, guys. Joe, you got the swim monkey ready? I'm out of here. All right. Bye, guys. Join us on the swim monkey. Swim. Swim monkey. Swim monkey. Swim monkey. Swim monkey. Swim monkey. TV. 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 On. The monkey. <laughs>